Hi Parsh, your doubt was regarding activity based costing, MCE, manufacturing cycle efficiency. This question by uh, by the way is there in our 16th edition book in chapter number 33 in form of question number 1 also. Now this doubt was all about what? This doubt was all about that sir this wait time of 16 days can it form part of the manufacturing cycle efficiency. So let me just try to say few of the things over here which will help you to clarify your doubt. Though division 2 is performing well, but at times a customer complained that they had to wait for long time after placing the orders. Okay. The company is interested in cutting the amount of time when the customer places the order and when the order is completed. Okay. Now, in this case, no, <coughs> they are talking of this particular time only that customers had to be waiting for long. So, what did ICA do? Your MCE manufacturing cycle efficiency is defined as value added time divided by total manufacturing time in uh, into 100 in case you want to be doing that's your choice. So they interpreted wait time as suppose the customer places the order but we have not passed over that order to the factory uh, to process. So factory has not even started the production. Okay. So there is a time gap of 16 days over here. Now, honestly, in real life, wait time can happen across many places. Example, whatever I told you right now, that is wait time. In reality, wait time can also be, suppose goods are processed from process 1. But then they have to be going now inside process 2. But process 2 is doing some other work. So therefore, goods have to be waiting. It could be that particular time. But as I was saying, you have to interpret the things in reference to the question. I think this wait time will be this particular wait time only. Customers have to be waiting for long. Okay. And uh, this time, if it is that particular time that ICA has interpreted, means the customer has placed the order. But the order has not gone to the factory Okay, to get processed. So then this particular thing will not be forming part of manufacturing cycle efficiency and that could be one of the reasons that what I say did know. In part 6 they had asked calculate delivery cycle time. In delivery cycle time you include all the times not only the manufacturing time. So in this particular case if you ever try to take those 16 uh, days as part of the manufacturing no, there will be no difference between your normal time and delivery cycle time. That means there will be no difference between manufacturing cycle time and between the delivery cycle time. So that is why in this particular case, you got to be taking that time only as the time between the customer placing the order and that marketing department or that order taking department passing over the order to the factory. Okay. I hope that your doubt is cleared. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.